Here we have two General Electric World Monitor uh, multiband transistor radios from the 60s. And these were shipped to me by a viewer who wants one to work. Uh, he saw a previous video that I had where I restored one of these for a good friend. And in that video, I, um, well, it was, there was a lot to it. I went through and I rebiased and I changed the germanium output transistors to silicon and recapped one of the IF transformers and recapped uh, some of the electrolytics or something like that. And I thought back to the, the uh, amount that went into that and, you know, um, it, it was quite an undertaking and I don't really want to go through that again um, unless it's for somebody close to me. You'd, you'd have to have deep pockets to buy, to uh, hire me to do that, that thorough of a job again. Um, that was it was lots and lots of hours to get that radio where it was and the guy and uh, my friend still uses it and he's happy with it so that's what's important so what I want to do today is I want to just get a baseline on these two and we'll see what works what doesn't work and it'll be probably two to three weeks before I can actually dig into one of these uh, so let's get a baseline got my power supply there we'll put nine volts in them and we'll spark them up and see if they smoke this is subject number one this is the one that's missing the antenna has the rusty battery compartment and um, the selector doesn't work and this is a common problem in old GE radios I don't care if they're tube or transistor the little pulleys that the uh, string rides on get brittle and break and they're pretty much unrepairable uh, it's totally quiet we're seeing some current draw here I'm on amps so radio like this will draw under 50 milliamps even when it's working so we're, we're just This thing is quiet, totally quiet. All right, I made a mistake. This was the last one that was dead. This is the one with the good cabinet. It's got a missing antenna, but this one's got a rusty battery tray. This is the one with um, a bad cabinet, and this one appears to be doing something. Because of Candy's story, I went in, got a mammogram, and I found out, shame on me, I had... Play. No purchase necessary. Price per household within a 60-day period. Oh, yes. No of any kind. You know, like one friend to another. If you keep the money longer, our regular interest and one-time loan fee kicks in. But the first week is still free, no matter whether you have great credit or have credit issues. So call 8445-LOAN-ME for the help you need... Interesting. 
interesting. And I also tell him, I said, be careful because there are people pretending to be Christians. Uh, like I, I told them, Jehovah's Witnesses and the Mormons and the Catholics all have roots. And I just told them. They got exactly the same language. $45 a month. You've seen the little blue lawn signs. Okay. This one seems to work pretty good. We got a dead volume control for sure, but otherwise this one seems to work pretty good. Um... I will note, man, the shortwave did seem really hot. There is not a lot of activity on shortwave anymore. Shortwave is pretty much almost an obsolete format, at least here in the States. Uh, you know, even even rural third world countries, they're br they brought in cellular service and those people are getting on the, online now. So uh, uh, don't expect a whole lot on shortwave. AM and FM, yeah, those should be hot, popping bands. But long wave, you'll get some images from the broadcast AM band, but there's really nothing on long wave here either. See, so WWV will be on 2.5, 5, 10, 15, so... I think that volume control is shot. TommyTBodyPiercing.com. One more time, due to popular demand and for you, K Rock. Tommy T's Body Piercing has extended to buy any piece of medical grade jewelry and receive a piercing stretch jewelry change for free. But this sale is ending February 16th. And tell Tommy T you heard it on K Rock. See you at Tommy T's. Are you looking for that perfect Valentine's Day gift for that special someone in your life? Why not give them or yourself the gift of perfect vision? To dump the glasses and contact and lace it. Laser Eye Center is offering a special one-time Valentine's Day offer. Of first ten listeners to call. That's fifteen. Or off to the first ten listeners to call eight four four.
745 laser eye center uses the most advanced technology out there, giving the fight me outside, fight me outside, fight me outside. Oh my God. You know the FM. Ooh, there's that high pitched squeal that my friends was making when that those bad germanium transistors. I hope that's not. I hope I don't have to do that on those because that required removing that daughter board and it was a real headache. Yeah, can you hear that? It is so important. And, you know, one of the ways we can serve our family is by taking care of ourselves. We need to be in good health. Um I lubricated the tone control and, um, That high-pitched squeal, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's right at the top of my hearing. I would say it's 12 kilohertz, somewhere there. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Uh, I think I can hear up to about 13 or 14 now. That's about it. Into such scientific terms. It's really, really brilliant the way you've done that. So, okay, the number 818-985-KPFK. You are contributing to a bigger picture here at KPFK, and you are also understanding... You can hear the, uh, the spoken word modulating the squeal. And by stripping away everything that isn't that. Um, the number again, 818-985-KPFK. It's, it's hard to talk about something that... I still hear it. It's much lower. Morse code. That is single sideband without the subcarrier re reinserted. Um, the ham bands must be popping today for this radio to be picking up HF with the antenna down. Try 20 meters. You know, this is exactly what the other one I did worked on. The high-pitched squeal is actually driving a whole bunch of current. Look at how high that is. Ah. 
that, that's, that squeal is probably running out of there at about a watt and a half or two watts out of the amp. And it's just all wasted energy that we can't hear. It's right at the top of my hearing. It's right at the cut off of the speaker. But the last time on one of these, that squeal was the germanium transistors. And I, I can't explain it. They are the same package style as that were in the Zenith I repaired in the previous video. This kind of long, skinny, cylindrical package style. But it's getting worse as it runs. I wonder if I could spray some freeze it on them and it would go away. Okay, so this little daughter board right here, this is the audio amp. So we got our pre-driver, our driver, and then our two audio output transistors right there. I think it went away. Yeah, so this this one has got to be changed at a minimum. Uh, and my friends, they just kept getting worse. The longer I would run it, the worse they would get. So this is really a pain in the ass. This is really time consuming to do this because you have to pull the entire radio out of the cabinet, which has got to happen anyway. Um, but then what you have to do is you have to pull this daughter board off and change these transistors. And what's difficult about it is if you don't get them right, uh, you know the leads then you you got to tear it all apart again this is it's a really tough thing to do but you just got to do it on this on these uh these uh ge's so that's it for now um we will get back to this in like i say two to three weeks but at least we got a baseline on what we're going to do and this chassis is going to end up in that cabinet